Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Bride Tragic YouTube video, and today it is Movie Mayhem, Episode 3, Back to the Future, Part 3. So, um, I recorded the other two, like, fairly back-to-back, -back, and this one, for some reason, I didn't record this one, so I gotta record this one. So, uh, here we go. Uh, Back to the Future, Part 3 uh, it is the Western of the trilogy of Back to the Future. So, if you watch my other two videos... I, I liked the first one. I love, absolutely adore the second Back to the Future. Back to the Future 3 has grown on me um, over the years because I love the trilogy in general. And um, this movie, definitely, I like because of certain reasons. Now, this is one of the ones probably, and along with the first one, I don't really watch. And this one I definitely have stayed away from. But really, the first one is the one I, I don't really watch hardly at all anymore. Um, but the third one, it's beginning to be one that I don't watch very often. So now I'm starting to want to watch it again because I haven't seen it in so long. Um, now, I used to own the trilogy, and I used to wear two and three discs out um, and not watch the first one at all. Because I watched it so much on TV and such that I just never wanted to watch it. Um, but... You know, the third one is a really good movie. It, it starts out, you know, what happens at the end of Back to Future Part 3, uh, or 2, if you've never seen it. Um, this is going to be a spoiler, but if you're watching this video, um, you probably want to watch Back to the Future any 3, or you want to see why. But something happens at the end of 2 that sends Emmett, um, the, the um, what do you call him? Professor? There you go, I think. Right? That was he calling him? Doctor. There you go. I don't know. Time travel doctor guy. Um, it sends him back to, I think, 1850s or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not, don't quote me on the year, but they go back in time. I don't know, but you get a hint of it in uh, Back to Future Part 2 because he's, he's like hitting the time thing because it's glitching a little bit in the car. And um, he said, ooh, that was a close one. And you see that, and you're just like, oh. And then later on, when you're rewatching the things, you're like, oh, yeah, Back to Future Part 3. Um, so that's pretty cool. They give you, you give you a hint of what's going to happen. And then um, when it happens at the end of 2, um, you're like, oh, he went back to the year or whatever. But they said it. So in a nose, and you know what year he's going to go back to. Even though they never reference it, but he gets that he gets something at the end of two to let to confirm that. Um, but in three, it happens. And at the, that's what's great about two and three is that at the beginning of the video, you see you have to see the end of the previous movie because it sets up the movie. So they have to replay the ending of the last movie. So that's just really cool. I like this too because there is actually closure. At the end of the movie, um, this is one of those movies where you can't say, "Oh, they left it open for a sequel," because no, they don't really leave it open for a sequel. Um, because Doc, you know, Doc—that's his name. There you go, uh, Doc. Um, basically, he ends it at the end of the movie. So you know, unless they're going to reboot the entire franchise, would it be horrible? I don't know why you, somebody would want to do that. Um, I can see him doing it. Probably in another five years, somebody's gonna, some dumbass is going to say, hey, we should remake Back to the Future, which would be a horrible idea. I don't think anybody would ever touch this trilogy because I think it's one of those timeless movies. Well, it's not timeless, but it's one of those movies where if they're going to do anything, they're going to make a sequel to it and um, maybe have Marty's son and Doc's, I don't know, I don't know what Doc would have, maybe a grandson that he didn't know about um, is on there or something. Um, I don't know. I think they could probably do something and make a sequel about it. Oh, uh, but yeah. Oh, no, we got the yawning book. Um, but yeah, I like the movie. On excitability scale, three is pretty good. There is some dull moments in the, in the movie. Um, it probably stands with the dull moments on the same as the first one because there's some dull moments in the first one too. Um, but I mean, that's probably if I'm going to give it a rating on an excitability sale, I'd probably give it like a seven and a half. Um, I think that's what I gave the first one, if I think correctly. I think I gave it about seven and a half as well. Um, because it's pretty exciting. 
you know, uh, and exciting, like, like I said in the other videos, exciting means like, you know, the, traje the trajectory, that's very hard to say, the, uh, you know, the arc in the story, the, you know, how, you know, is it dull, is there anything going on, you know, and is it easy to watch, I guess I should say, is there exciting moments happening all the time throughout this, the movie, and, you know, not that I give it a low rating, it's going to be a bad movie, um, but maybe I might give a grade along with the exciting um, factor, but I would give it like a 7.5, and, you know, as a rating, you know, this movie is definitely probably like a, a B plus, you know, or probably an A minus, I'll probably give it a B plus, there you go, B plus, not an A minus, uh, but yeah, I would try to stick with a B plus, um, and trilogy-wise, you know, this trilogy is awesome. If you're going to own a trilogy, this is probably one you're going to have in your collection. Um, because this is definitely one. And actually, it's kind of family-friendly a little bit. Um, for the most part. I don't think there's really... I'm trying to think of anything that's really bad in this movie. I don't think so. I don't think there's really much bad in this movie. Like, where you can say, no, I don't want my kid watching this. I think, like, maybe the second one. Um, where I think his mom, like, showing a bunch of cleavage and things like that. Uh, this being this is a complete butthole. Um, that's like really the only bad part in this entire series is when he goes back to the to the um, um, Biff controlled um, Back to the Future or back. Let me hold on. Let me gather my thoughts. Uh, the Biff controlled 1955. Is that what year it is? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, so yeah. Oh, no, 1985, my bad, 1985, because, yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know what you think about Back to the Future Part 3, um, what, 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 uh, movie of the series is your favorite, and let me know what other trilogies I should review, um, and if I haven't seen them, you're gonna have to wait, uh, so, <laughs> I have to be able to see, I have to have seen the movie. So I can review it. Uh, but there's a lot of movies I've seen, so uh, I'll have no problem with this series. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave the comments down below what I should review. Um, I do have Netflix, so that helps me out a lot. So if you have no any movies on Netflix, I should review and view and watch and blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> let me know. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, like the video and comment down below whatever you want to comment on. I don't care. Uh, Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and keep on rocking, guys.